Welcome back to Souls with Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling. There's four crystals for you to choose from. Set of cards number one is the pink crystal. Set of cards number two, the rainbow glass pendant. Set of cards number three, the amethyst. And set of cards number four, the amber. So take some time to tune into these. See which one resonates with you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. You can pause the video right now if you need to. And then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the pink crystal. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. And also how are they feeling? So we've got lots of messages cards that we're going to look into, the messages from the heart cards and the My Soul's Desire cards. These are both available on my website for purchase, so if you would like a copy, please check out the link below this video. So their thoughts of you today and how they feeling, hinting, insecure, shatter, reunion, divine timing. Okay, so their thoughts of you today. Um, I feel like overall, it's not just today, it's like this feeling of um, how they generally feel most of the time, insecure. I feel like your person is fearful that um, your connection is going to fall apart. For some of you, it could be that something has happened that's led to this shatter, that's led to this separation, and they're feeling very insecure about it. But ultimately, I feel like this person's insecurities um, are getting the better of them, and they have these fears of you rejecting them, you abandoning them, you getting bored with them or walking away from them. And so... This person, they're constantly thinking about reunion. They're constantly thinking about what it would be like to be with you. But they feel like there's divine timing involved because there's these insecurities. There's these um, fears within this person of coming out and telling you their feelings or being upfront and straightforward with you. So they're hinting instead. Some of you may hear from this person or... Uh, if you see this person today, maybe they're kind of hinting to you in some kind of way their feelings for you, but they don't come out and say it directly to you. This person feels very nervous in your presence. So hinting at their feelings. This person could be shy or they just feel that way when it comes to you. They're in their shell, indirect, hiding feelings, keeping their cards close to their chest and sometimes maybe even downright denial of their feelings to you but it's because of their insecurities okay your person has thick walls around them um protective walls and i feel like they you see through their walls you see deeply into them and they feel like this uh, rabbit caught in the headlights they feel like your gaze your you can see right through them it pierces these walls and shatters them and this may cause them to have like a fight, flight or freeze response, I feel. So feelings of intense insecurity. This person's very anxious. Um, and I feel like they have low self-esteem and a poor self-image, like they're not feeling good enough for you. This makes them very self-conscious and nervous around you. And mind games, I feel like that's their own mind playing tricks on them. They're like overthinking things. Um, they <laughs> may even look like this kind of expressions a little bit when, when they see you perhaps um, shatter, sudden change. This person, it's like they're overly cautious. They're afraid of being vulnerable in case they get heartbroken and, and in case they're completely shattered in this connection. So they're afraid and of like a sudden change. Um, shocking transformations, endings, wake up call, end of an era, blessing in disguise. Okay, your, your person, I feel like subconsciously they try and stay in control of this situation by uh, being very slow moving or not letting things progress um, 
over a certain line which they've subconsciously drawn but your person it's like secretly deep down they're always thinking about this reunion with you and I do feel like either today or over the next few days they're going to try and hint to you or or it's it's like they're they're fearful of showing you their feelings uh, but then they're fearful of you also not knowing and misinterpreting them to not have any feelings so they're sort of hinting in some kind of way maybe just through their body language um, so twin flame union so this person sees you either as a twin flame or a soulmate they feel a divine connection here they feel a strong magnetic pull it feels beyond like a normal sort of bog standard um, type attraction your person wants to come back together or um, come together if you've not been together in the past they feel this sense of oneness with you they want this they're imagining and always daydreaming about this reconciliation they could feel like you are the one for them they they're thinking today about what it will be like spending time with you but there is very much a sense in this person's mind person's mind that there's divine timing here i feel like your person feels that they need time in order to overcome those insecurities but yeah soul contract not just yet spirit knows best surrender live in the present moment feeling impatient um so yeah i do feel like your person gets impatient and they, they constantly just want in this reunion, but at the same time, they're fearful of that. They're, they're fearful of getting close to you and in case you reject them and you don't, you don't like the real them. You are my perfect person, the Two of Cups. So yeah, they feel this deep resonance with you. Two of Cups is about you being on the same page. They, they feel like you click really well together um, in some ways, energetically. Um, they feel like you're soulmates but I definitely feel like they may have put you on a pedestal you are my perfect person so they they feel like they're not good enough and it's like their own minds sort of like beating themselves up overthinking things feeling like um, you deserve better than them or you deserve more than what they can offer you those kinds of thoughts I'm pausing to get a better look at things um, this is the hanged man so yeah definitely a spiritual element here like your connections opened this person's mind in a spiritual way somewhat and uh, they're, they're very they may be a little bit confused as to why and uh, they feel these things your connections making them see everything from a different perspective and that's making them feel a bit vulnerable as well. The shatter is like the breaking down of the ego, the full self, the old way of seeing things. So they're coming out of alignment, I feel, with many things from their past. Um, so they're going inwards a lot, trying to figure things out. Um, again, they, they feel like they need more time. I'm going to make you mine, the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, I feel this is what they're juggling between. They they really want to come forward. They feel all this passion. They want that reunion. They want to be with you. But this is going on on top of the Shatter card. They, they, they want this so much, but they're fearful that if they take those steps that somehow it's not going to work out or it's not the right time. So they don't want a Shatter. They're, they're biding their time is what I'm feeling. Um, I'm going for it. And this is the full card, and that's over the reunion. So um, I do feel like some of you, either today or over the next few days, are going to hear from this person, or this person's going to make it clear to you, or maybe not clear. It will be still through hinting, I feel. But they're going to try and show you their feelings, or tell you their feelings, or just make you aware of their feelings in some kind of way. I'm much more secure in myself. Divine timing, yeah, look. Over time, they're trying to work on uh, feeling more confident, feeling better about themselves. And nine of um, pentacles, this is like they're maybe working on their independence or um, 
building themselves up in some kind of way to feel good within themselves and feel like they're good enough for you. If I show you my feelings, you might go off of me. So yeah, this is like their biggest fear. This is what's been holding them back. Um, they're, they're afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve in a way. Uh, they may feel like it's going to make them come across as needy or pathetic or something, but that's what you need. And I feel like that's definitely what you want from them. I want to get back together with you. I miss you so much. So for some of you, you may have been together with this person in the past and then there was a towel moment or it just didn't work out and they want to be with you. They want a second chance. If you haven't been together, this is just confirming that they want things to go further with you. I don't know why, but I feel so self-conscious around you. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's because they feel this really, really deep connection, okay? And, they, and subconsciously, they know that you can see through their walls, their barriers. You can see their insecurities, and that in itself makes them feel insecure. I'm terrified of being vulnerable with you in case I get hurt. I'm sorry. So, yeah, they feel so deeply for you that if things doesn't don't work out or they feel like you reject them then this could totally crush this person it could totally shatter them that shatter card came out so uh, ironically it's it's because they feel so deeply about you they care so deeply about you and what you think of them that they're terrified of being vulnerable I fantasize about you every day so they're fantasizing about that reunion with you that they're, they're thinking about that today I think they think about that a lot and yeah, your person's definitely trying to work on becoming more secure within themselves to take things a step further. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look deeper into your person's thoughts of you today, how are they feeling, um, what are they going to do, like what's going to unfold between you both. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it and I hope to see you over on the extended. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the rainbow glass pendant. So this is your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling about you right now. We're going to be looking into lots of messages cards, the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards. These are both available on my website for purchase. So if you would like a copy, please check out the link below this video. So your person's thoughts of you today and how are they feeling mask. Ghosting. Missed opportunity. Destiny. And divine timing. Okay, so your person is kicking themselves. They feel like they've either missed out on an opportunity recently with you or they feel like they are constantly missing out on this opportunity to be with you because they're hiding behind their mask and they're ghosting you because of insecurities. This person believes that divine timing is involved and that there's destiny in your connection that you're meant to be together, but they feel like it's not the right time. Um, definitely this person has a lot of insecurities and fears so um, maybe you could have walked away in some cases because they were hiding their feelings they were ghosting you and you, you had to move on you couldn't keep waiting you know time was ticking um, so yeah this person's been wearing this mask they've been hiding they've been putting on some sort of front in some cases they've been trying to impress you by being sort of insincere they're trying to fake things they're trying to be something that they're not they're trying to be something that they feel you would want them to be or you would need them to be and really it's just their own insecu insecurities that they're projecting into this mask it's like they're trying to project project an image of who they wish they were because they're not loving or accepting some parts of themselves and um this may have come across to you as like manipulation and um, but it's their self protection but this person needs to be their true self they're really struggling with that though it's like 
Um, if you get too close to this person, they ghost you. Is what I'm feeling. Running, avoiding, feeling overwhelmed, difficult emotions, bottling up their feelings, and silent treatment. Um, but it's like with these eyes here, it's like I feel like they're watching you from afar. It's it's this is going to sound creepy, but it's reminding me of. You know, those films where they cut out the eyes in a portrait and then the eyes move because they're like spying on you. <laughs> they're watching you, but from behind that mask, from behind a wall, um, totally like denying uh, their, their feelings for you. I mean, in some cases, they may hint their feelings to you or try and show you very indirectly. But when it comes to down to flat out, showing you their feelings it's like they're in denial and your person they feel like they're missing out on an opportunity with you or they have recently and they're having a lot of regret today about this they feel like they're taking you for granted or they they fear that you think that you think they're taking you for granted they didn't act or they're not acting they're kicking themselves um, they couldn't see clearly in some cases in the past. They're learning harsh lessons, okay? I feel like your person has a lot of self-blame. Um, but they do feel that destiny is involved in your connection. They feel that you have this powerful bond. And they could feel that you are some sort of soulmate and that your connection's fated. Maybe there were synchronicities that brought you together. They feel like your connection is guided by spirit. There's some sort of soul contract. You know, they could realize this consciously, but uh, many it will be subconsciously. And definitely see this as a divine love. And they feel like you're meant to be together. And they're trying to surrender to that divine timing um, and believe that it will happen. You will be together, you're on this soul path, you have these soul agreements. But I feel like sometimes your person uh, uses this divine timing and oh, the universe will sort it out as like an excuse to um, stay in their comfort zone too much. So divine timing, you have a soul contract with this person, not just yet. Spirit knows best. Surrender. Live in the present moment. Feeling impatient. So yeah, I feel like your person today is feeling impatient. They're getting um, like cross with themselves, I feel. But also it could be there's other obstacles. I mean, in some cases, maybe you've both tried to make things work out, but it all feels like the universe sort of stepped in and prevented that. Um, like obstacles cropped up. In some cases, that will resonate. I can't let you go, the four of pentacles. So for some of you, you are like moving on from this person or walking away from this person um, because maybe they just denied their feelings or ghosted you or didn't respond or something like that. And uh, they can't let you go. They feel lost without you. Um, I will express, express my truth to you. So this is the Ace of Swords. So again, I feel like your person's working up the courage and they feel like in divine timing, when the time is right, they will express their truth to you. Some of you, you will be hearing from this person because um, you are walking away and they're like really fearful that they're losing you so that they can't let you go. They will express their truth to you or maybe they'll come forward. In some cases, they could be hinting again rather than being direct, but they don't feel ready to be direct. So today they're in their man or their woman cave. Um, and this is like the feelings of heartbreak. Uh, they're really uh, ruminating about whatever's happened. They're trying to figure out how to get closer to you, either to get you to come back or just get closer to you in general. They're trying to figure things out. Again, this is like problem solving. I'm not sure what decision to make, two of swords. So yeah, your person's really feeling like they're in some sort of dilemma. Basically what it boils down to is they have this choice between love and fear. I feel like your person's going inwards a lot, thinking a lot today, almost like overthinking. It's like their heart and soul is desiring to be with you, but then their fears in their mind come up a lot and really sabotage them or cause them to hold back. Yeah, I'm scared of the unknown. This is the moon card. So yeah, they're, they're in, they're sort of locked up in their tower. They're, they're locked up behind their, 
thick walls of protection. They're scared of, in some cases I'm hearing you have like a situationship. You know, they have you in their life in some kind of way. Maybe there is some sort of communication or something. And they're fearful of um, taking things further in case it doesn't work out. And then they lose what they already have with you. So a lot of fears. How are they feeling about you today? I can't bottle up my emotions any longer. And we had, I will express my truth to you. So you could be hearing from this person today or over the next few days. They're getting sick and tired of bottling up their emotions and feeling as though it's causing all this um, sabotage in the connection. I hide my feelings for you, but secretly I love you so much. So it's really interesting. They can't bottle up their emotions. And then we have their hiding their feelings. And the two of swords, again, it's like this, what do they do? What do they choose? Do they choose to express themselves to you or not? They're, it's kind of like they feel like they're in the doghouse. So if they come forward and express themselves now, you might um, reject them, which is kind of like their biggest fear. But it's like secretly they love you so much. Let's meet up and tell each other how we feel. So that's what your person's thinking about. That's what your person is trying and hoping will happen and trying to work themselves up to being able to do again express their feelings i fantasize about you every day they're fantasizing about you today this is all kinds of fantasies about being with you in a relationship uh, like sexual fantasies just thinking about you all the time and i push you away because i don't want to lose you crazy i know so yeah your person they fear that if they let you get too close to them you'll see the real them and you'll reject them and then they'll feel absolutely devastated so they keep you at arm's length and then they're also fearful that if they keep doing that then you're going to have to walk away or you're already walking away so this is kind of them feeling that two of swords again feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place so today they're really just trying to think about what shall i do what can i do what um, you know, they don't want to lose you. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look deeper in your, into your person's feelings for you right now, their thoughts of you today, what sort of decisions are they going to make, what they're going to do, all things like that. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. It really helps me out. And Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope to see you over on the extended. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the amethyst. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Also, how are they feeling about you? And we're going to be looking into lots of messages cards we have the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards both of these are available on my website to purchase so if you would like a copy please check out the link below this video so your person's thoughts of you today and how are they feeling hinting love potion roller coaster Man cave and love call. Wow, so your person is really feeling all over the place in your connection. They feel this deep love, this deep chemistry, these deep desires, powerful magnetic pull towards you. It's making them feel all over the place because I feel like your person has some sort of insecurities or they just feel very self-conscious around you because we have man cave and hinting and love call as well. In some cases, this could be hot and cold. Sometimes you hear from this person. Sometimes they're all over the place. The connection freaks them out because um, it's so intense. They can't control their emotions. They feel vulnerable. They feel like they could get hurt. And it, it just feels, they feel so ecstatic, they feel euphoric a lot of the time, so much chemistry, but then they feel like um, they're, they're thinking too much, they're feeling too much for you, and they could be heartbroken at any moment, so then their guard comes up. In some cases, they have insecurities and they find it hard to communicate their feelings and be that vulnerable, so they hint to you their feelings. 
um, and they're trying to figure out how to be more vulnerable to express their feelings with you okay so how are they feeling about you today they're feeling head over heels falling in love infatuation obsession they're hooked on you they find you irresistible they are captivated by you i do feel like your person they can be quite manipulative it doesn't necessarily mean that they have ill intentions but you need to trust your own intuition with that um i feel like they they definitely wear some sort of mask uh, they may play, I feel like they may play some mind games with you where they're sort of hinting their feelings, but then they're withdrawing. Um, some of you, it's kind of intentional, like they're just sort of playing around with you a bit. I feel like they don't fully, or maybe in the past, they didn't fully understand their feelings. They just thought it was lust. They just thought, it was about having a good time with you, having fun times with you. But then as time has moved on, they feel deeper feelings for you. But they've kind of got into this pattern of uh, wearing a mask or maybe giving you false promises. Um, in some cases, this is like keeping your connection a secret or something. Hmm. So... Yeah, you make them feel all over the place. They feel these highs and these low, these lows. It's an addictive relationship. I feel like your person is kind of addicted to the highs and lows. So sometimes they may subconsciously push you away or create an argument or something in order for you to sort of make up, break up, make up and have this like, it's releasing all this like chemicals, chemistry, uh, so pleasure and pain, they can be hot and cold, emotionally unavailable and non-committal. Yeah, so I feel like they could be keeping your connection a secret or they're high, they're withholding their feelings, they're like keeping their feelings quiet sometimes, but then other times they feel like they're being really like charming with you and sort of saying what you want to hear. I feel like your person loves being sort of like a Casanova. They like just playing that role. It's like feeding their ego in some kind of way. It's not necessarily the real them. It's like they're keeping their real self hidden. Uh, they're making out that they're more confident and much more of this charmer, Casanova sort of thing. Um then who they really are, what they really are like. Uh, so sometimes they hint at their feelings. This is interesting. It's like they could be shy, like deep down, but they try and hide that. Their true self is locked away, like in their shell or in their man or woman cave. And uh, maybe in some cases you know this person from... Uh, like a night out or when they're drinking or it could be a case of maybe you work with this person so during the day they're sort of hinting but it's only um, if you go out on a work party party or if they're out at the weekend or something then you you hear from them um, hiding their feelings keeping their cards close to their chest denial so yeah sometimes they deny their feelings sometimes they push you away and it creates this roller coaster of pleasure and then pain um take man cave taking alone time i feel like your person may be like oh i'm independent i don't want to get tied down problem solving but it's like today i really feel like they're going inwards and they're like what is this about because they feel this intense magnetic pull to you i feel like maybe they've tried to push you away but then they're always gravitating their thoughts their feelings is still being pulled towards you and then you will hear from them maybe out of the blue again uh, depression isolation hermit sadness wounds shadow work i feel at the core of all of this your person has a lot of emotional wounds that they're in denial about it's like uh, I, i'm just seeing someone that maybe has addictions or drinking drugs or, or whatever their addiction is and it's it's so that they can have these good times and feel high 
um but then they come crashing down it's like they don't want to they're trying to avoid like what's going on within them their emotional trauma and because they feel these deep feelings for you it draws them into their feelings it draws them into themselves and they're trying to avoid that because of their own wounds so they push you away i won't ever give up on us page of swords so yeah, there's been a lot of turbulence, a lot of obstacles, difficulties, complications, fears, a lot of triggering. So your connection's been very hot and cold, on on again, off again. And your person's like, I won't ever give up on us, but page of wands, I feel like there's some immaturity here. I feel like your person is this roller coaster of emotions within themselves. Like if you look at their life in general, it, it could be like a lot of drama or they're just all over the place. It's not just about how they are in your connection. I'm eager to take action. Another page. So again, it's like they have these fantasies, these desires. You may hear from them sometimes, but I feel like it's in a, quite an immature way. They're like, I won't give up, ever give up on us. I'm eager to take action. That there's sort of like a childlike quality to this person. Maybe you're sort of drawn to them because you see them as innocent, like overall. But then at the same time, I feel like they can be very selfish and it's hurting you. Um, I'm going to prove myself to you. Um, that's one of the pentacle cards. It's meant to have a picture in that or a number, but I forgot to put it in that one. <laughs> I'm going to prove myself to you. Let's see what the other ones say. I will be the best version of myself for you, the King of Pentacles. And with us, there is no end. The world card. So for some of you, take this how it resonates. For some of you, uh, this person does have the potential to work on themselves, heal themselves. That could be why they are in the man cave, doing that problem solving, coming to these realizations and healing. For others, it's like a pipe dream I'm hearing, like this is what they hope, um, but it's gonna take them many years because they have a lot of maturing to do. So take however that resonates. Um, I have a confession to make. And let's meet up and tell each other how we feel. So I feel like they want to confess their feelings to you. You may hear from them either today or very soon. You may, you know, they may have not spoken to you in a long time and then you suddenly hear something. Um, they want to get closer to you. They, I, I feel like they've pushed you away. They ran away and now they're feeling so much space that they're missing you. They want to come back in. I will get in touch very soon. Yeah, you'll definitely be hearing from them. Uh, I love your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. I love all of you. And I'm totally obsessed with you. Please be mine. So, yeah, I feel like your person can be very cold and then very hot. Um, and it, it, there's this struggle to have this like equilibrium, this like balance, but I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look even deeper into your person's thoughts of you today, how are they feeling about you right now? What are they going to do? Where's your connection headed? All things like that. So the details for the extended are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended reading. Take care. Bye. Welcome to Center Cards number four. You've chosen the Amber. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Also, how are they feeling about you right now? And we're going to be looking into lots of messages cards. We have the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards. These are both available on my website for purchase. So if you would like a copy, please check out the link below this video. Okay, so your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling? Betrayal. Holding on. Courage, Twin Flame, and Destiny. 
So your person may either feel like they betrayed you or you betrayed them. Take it however it resonates. I'm going to say it as if your person, they feel as though they betrayed you. But I don't want to like stereotype with that, but it's just easier if I keep it to that format. Okay, so um, they're holding on. Okay, they feel like they've broken your heart. They feel like there's a separation right now. They're holding on though. They can't let you go. And they're trying to be brave and courageous in terms of doing the right thing, making amends. Okay, they they want that courage. Maybe for some of you, um, they chose fear over love. They didn't have that courage to come forward in some kind of way. So they ghosted you or they missed out on an opportunity. Maybe they denied their feelings. Maybe they ran away and it left you feeling betrayed, okay? So your person's really thinking about this today. They're really ruminating on whatever's happened here. So deceptions, lies, heartbreak, stabbed in the back, separation, breakup, cheating, third party. In some cases, it could be the other way around. Maybe they feel like you've deceived them or, or you've been lying to them or something thing um so there's definitely a feeling of heartbreak within this person today right now um they're either kicking themselves or they're thinking worst case scenarios when it comes to you um but again let's just talk as though they feel like they've betrayed you and um, they're holding on they're not letting you go they want to be together with you they can't move on they feel lost without you they feel like they need you and there could be some codependency here. They could be trying to pull you back to them. They feel your absence. They, they're so like terrified that they've lost you is what I'm feeling. So they're trying to be strong. And this is like a tug of war, right? They're, they're trying to strongly like pull you back towards them. So you could be hearing from this person. They could be coming forward today or over the next few days. Or for some of you, you've already been experiencing them communicating with you with apologies or explanations or saying that they want another chance and telling you their feelings. But yeah, they're, they're trying to be strong and take this leap of faith and do what's right. They want to make amends to whatever's happened. They want to be brave and confident because they feel like maybe they were a coward or they just followed their fears. They really want to go for it. They want to be a protector. They want to be dependable and stable, you know. They want to um, heal your broken heart. It's like they want to go out of their way to... Uh, have your back uh, where they feel feel like maybe they stabbed you in the back or something they feel like you are their twin flame they may not know this label if not that they see you as their soulmate they feel you have this really powerful infinite bond and this connection it almost looks like a butterfly here it's very transformational it's very healing um, they want this union with you they know that you love them unconditionally and they love you unconditionally, but I feel like they feel they took you for granted or they were immature in some kind of way. But they're learning these intense soul lessons from it. There's a lot of triggering right now, but they want to become one. You know, they want that reconciliation and they do feel like destiny is at play. Um, they want to kind of be like this angel. Maybe they feel like they were the devil, so to speak, but they want to be like the angel. They want to heal you they want to put things right but also this is they feel that there's fate in this connection that it's guided by spirit and maybe they feel like uh, there was a lot of synchronicity and there's a soul contract here and that you're meant to be together and they're trying to surrender and i feel like maybe they've had some control issues like they feared being surrendered and open and vulnerable and so there was resistance here fear ego getting in the way but they want to surrender now they're trying to hope and pray that it will happen that it's destined that you're meant to be together so let's look at some more of the messages cards how they feel in today what they're thinking let's start all over again ace of cups okay they want to mend your heart if they've broken your heart they want to mend your heart they want to go above and beyond um, and express themselves and try and, and make up for how they made you feel betrayed in some kind of way um, it could be that they weren't expressing their feelings now it's like they can't bottle up their feelings their fear of losing you is now greater than their fear of expressing themselves so 
I feel like you are going to hear from them today or very soon, wanting another, another chance, telling you their feelings, telling you everything you needed them to tell you and show you uh, before some sort of tower moment has happened here. I feel so happy when I'm with you. They want to hold on to that. Okay, maybe they feel like they acted foolishly, maybe in some cases, not everyone, but there was some sort of alcohol involved that led to that towel moment. They feel foolish, like maybe they acted foolishly when they were drunk or maybe, that you know, they did something when they were drunk for some of you. But they want to start all over again. They feel so happy with you. It's like they feel like they, they can't believe, like they, they sabotaged what you had. Um, I'm much stronger now. Wow, <laughs> that's going over the courage as well. So they've learned something from this. I feel like they they see that they were foolish or immature, or that they see the errors in the, in their ways. Is what I'm hearing. Um, I want you so badly. The night of ones, they want that twin flame union so badly. They they're so drawn to you today and feeling very passionate this is like they're wanting to race in it's like the um, knights can be messengers as well i'm hearing the calling this is really positive and that is with the angel as well so it's like they know this is spiritual they know um, that they're feeling it now that they're not denying this soul pull they're not denying their intuition they're not denying how the universe is you know having these neon flashing light lights arrows like pointing to you um, they're no longer denying that i feel like they tried to deny that but it went too far it ended up hurting you and now they're like realizing what they had once it's gone sort of thing and thinking why didn't i see the signs or why did i ignore the signs that were guiding them to you i can't tell you how scared i am that you might have moved on so yeah they're really fearful that um it's the end of the line that uh, they've gone too far this time around in terms of hurting you and now you're completely done with them no one is like you you're so incredibly special to me so yeah i definitely feel like they're realizing what they have once it's gone kind of thing like they were taking it for granted taking you for granted and then they're now they're realizing that they'll never feel this way about anyone else my passion is burning so strong that i can't take it so yeah they they want to raise in uh, the thought of um not being with you anymore the thought of losing you just um, it's really tearing them up inside. It's what they're feeling today and they want you so badly. They're feeling so much passion. They want to race in. I'm terrified of being vulnerable with you in case I get hurt. I'm sorry. So I feel like this may be what you, they'll be saying to you. Like they'll give you that explanation. Um, I want to get back together with you. I miss you so much. So yeah, they definitely want a second chance. I definitely feel you will be hearing from them if you you aren't already. Uh, there's a very rapid energy there's a very sort of desperate energy to get things back on track and beyond so i'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading we're going to look even deeper into your person's feelings for you right now their thoughts of you today what actions they're going to take where's your connection headed all things like that so the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment and if this reading has resonated with you please give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe it really helps me out and i hope to see you over on the extended reading thank you so much take care bye